Welcome to another video here with Howard Piano Industries. I'm Steve Howard and uh, today we're going to be showing you how to um, put a loop on the end of a piano string that you're replacing or if you're restringing a piano. Um, you know, I'll show you that uh, in, in most cases, um, as it is with this piano, you've got, uh, you've got your strings here that are, that are attached to the tuning pins. And in most cases, most of the strings, oh, let me get around here, are going to go up and they're going to loop around a hitch pin. So you can see that one of the one of the strings is going to come up here and this comes from one of the tuning pins at the other end and it's going to come up here and loop around the hitch pin and then come around and wrap around back down to the to the next tuning pin. But sometimes you have like an odd number of of strings or an odd number of strings in a section and um, and maybe this maybe the top string okay so the right string of the top of the highest note is is not going to have two strings that are going to share one hitch pin but it's going to go from uh, it's going to go up here and it's going to have to tie around that that hitch pin okay so it, again it all often happens on the top note or it might be the un, un, uh, uh, note or a string on the end of a section but uh, and this one doesn't actually have any of those tied strings but um, I've certainly had had that case where um, where I've had to tie a string and uh, we've got a string looping machine which you can use uh, you know if you've got several but um, this is a something that I a method that I came up with just for doing one single string so I'm going to show you how to how to make that loop so that uh, you, you can just it'll tie or it'll hook around the, the hitch pin loop all right so here we've got um i made a little little jig um to to be able to make this loop here and all i've did i just took a a, a board it can be any board um, and i took one of these l-shaped pins and this other end of it it was threaded so that i could thread it and, and screw it into the end of the board and that just holds it in place so that I've got a stable uh, thing. And then I and then I clamped the um, the board to my work table here. So basic, pretty basic uh, jig that pretty much any anybody can make uh, with a few couple different parts. Um, but uh, we're going to show you how to make that loop. Okay, so you're going to take the wire and you're going to wrap it around and make a nice. You know, so you're going to kind of crimp the wire so it comes around like that. And then once you've got one, one nice tight loop, you're going to start to come down around the main wire with your tail there. And you're going to wrap it around, I would say, four or five times. Just keeping your wire nice and tight. There's, I got three. And you want to make sure it's nice, the coils are nice and tight up against each other. So, um, and then come around there, do an extra little bend. And there we've got our, our loop. And then that, that part's going to go on the hitch pin. And then uh, because it's got the coil on it, that's going to hold it. And then once you've got it there, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this around so it's sticking out. There we go. A little bit more straight out. And then what you can do is you can just take your wire cutters and snip off the, the extra piece of tail there. Do it about fairly close to the coil. There we go. And now we've got our, our uh, hitch pin loop with the coils on it. Fairly simple, and then and then what you'll you'll do is just uh, you'll hook that onto the to the end of the hitch pin loop, and you can you can even cut off a length of wire, you know, longer than you need, um, and then cut off when you go to install it in the tuning pin. You'll cut out, cut it off the length that you need to go on the coil, and we should kind of talk about that in another video. But um, that's how to make that loop, in case you uh, you wondered how that's done. So just let us know if you have any questions or are glad to help. Our website is howardpianoindustries.com.